I love this. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tang. <laughs> right, so there are You're two... back with your boy, Mr. Way, and this is YouTube Maths. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> are monsters good at maths? Not unless you count Dracula. <laughs> okay, another awful joke there this morning, but it's a Friday, so you must excuse me. Um, today, we are looking at investigating reason, problem solving questions. Okay, so this is particularly um, hard, I guess, with the year five curriculum. It's not so straightforward. You really have to think outside the box. We're going to go through some today. First slide is just a learn objective. Um, it's also got a bit of information down here in red, so make sure you read that if you're doing it, are you nuts? But I will come to it a little bit later. Um, your tasks today, you'll be trying lots of problem solving. It's hot and spicy is complete slide three. That's a one, two, three, four problem. Mega hot, it's complete hot and spicy and mega hot, which is one, two, three, four problem and a packet of crisps and ice cream. Are you nuts? Try and do all the tasks and how many slides can you work through in an hour? Because at the end, there are some extremely tricky slides. Okay. I've just gone up rather than down. Hot and spicy. We need to use the digits one, two, three, and four, and the add, subtract, multiplication, and divide symbols to make the numbers from one to 30. So they're in the grid over here. Each number has to be used every time. So for example, one plus two plus three plus four equals 10. We've crossed 10 off on the grid. Another example would be four divided by two is two. Two times three is six six add one is seven so we cross seven off the grid you've got four times two is eight eight add three is eleven and eleven divided by one is eleven so we've crossed eleven off on the grid also so you need to go through and see how many you can cross off the aim is to get all 30 so i've written that down here and we'll just go through a few more you need to be logical about this but also there is an element of um trial and error so let's go for our first one. I'm going to start with, let's go four times three, which equals 12. So I've used the numbers four and three so far. I'm gonna do 12 divided by two, which is six. So I've used numbers four, three, two. Let's go six, take away oh, one, which would give us five. So then we go back over to the grid or wherever you're jotting it down. Right now we can cross off five. Good. Let's do another one all together. Let's do one times four, which is equal to four. Four times three, which is equal to 12. So I've used numbers one, four, and three. So let's get one up multiplication again. Let's do 12 times two, which is equal to 24. Then we go to the grid tick it off etc so that's what you need to do when you've only got a few numbers left that's when it does get particularly hard that's where the real problem solving um, comes into play so that is your hot and spicy task for today hopefully you'll have a bit of fun with that as well now mega hot a bit more of a step up here we've got a problem a packet of crisps and ice cream dave bought a packet of crisps and ice cream the cost of both of them together is in one of these boxes Use these clues to find out how much you paid. You'll need more than three coins to make the amount. Okay. There would be change when using the most valuable coin to buy them. Okay. The crisps cost more than 50p. You could pay without using any copper coins. And the ice cream costs exactly twice as much as the crisps. Okay. So the ice cream costs exactly twice as much as the crisps. But we don't know how much the crisps are. Because it says they cost more than 50p. So to start us off. On a piece of paper, I've written down 1p, 2p, 5p, 10p, 20p, 50p, pound, 2 pounds, because they're all of our coins. It does say uh, there'll be change when using the most valuable coin to buy them. So the most valuable coin we have is obviously a 2 pound coin. So any of these up here that are above 2 pound, so the likes of 3 pound 6, 2 pound 25, 2 pound 10, we can immediately cross them off because it cannot be over two pound, because we've been told that if we paid with a two pound coin, there'd be change. So I'm gonna write down here, cannot be over two pound, because we keep going back. It says there would be change when using the most valuable coin to buy them. Now we don't know whether 
we are going to actually use the two pound coin because it says you'll need more than three coins to make the amount. It doesn't say that we will need to use a two pound coin, but we know that it cannot be over two pound if we are to use the two pound coin. Okay, next one. We're gonna look at the crisps cost more than 50p and the ice cream costs exactly twice as much as the crisps. So let's say for example, crisps cost more than 50p. So the crisps will be Crisps will be have to be greater than 50p. Wow, I'm not very good at writing whilst looking through a camera. And then if we go underneath, ice cream. Let's put times two. So to me, that's saying that the ice cream is double the price of the crisps. So if we had C for crisps, 51p for example, the ice cream IC will put, I'm really not very good at writing, but bear with me please, um, ice cream would have to be double as much. So double 50p is a pound, double one penny comes to two pennies. Make sure it's not in a 10 pence column instead of tens column. Um, two pence, so that means altogether the least amount they could be is one pound two add fifty one P, which would give us one pound fifty three. So we know that the price is going to be between one pound fifty three. And two pound it cannot be over two pounds so if we go back over to the chart here any that are less than one pound fifty three one two three we can get rid of these get rid of this 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 so we've actually gone through and got rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we've got rid of eleven of these already what we do, we have not answered the question. We're just in process of elimination at the minute. So then we would go back through. We need to use three coins and we would get changed by using the highest value coin. And the answer is going to be between these values here. So we go back onto a grid, see if you can work that out. Now, if you believe you've worked it out or if you are really stuck down here, see below for the solution, just go down and click on this section and it would take you to the solution. However, don't just go for that. We would like to see your workings out. Okay, so that's mega hot. Mega hot is to do both hot and spicy and mega hot. Now, are you nuts, people? Must be nuts today because this is particularly hard. We've got the hot and spicy to do. We've got the mega hot to do. And we've got some problems of the day. So, what fraction of the middle shape is shaded? This here is our question. We It says try one together, so I've already done this on the board here. So, Number one, convert all the fractions to the same denominator. This part here is one fifth. This part here is three quarters. One fifth, let's get them into twentieths because four times five is twenty. And twenty is both in the five times table and the four times table. So what do we do to the de denominator to get it to twenty? We times it by four. So whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. This here would be the equivalent of four twentieths. Okay, it's not to scale. Okay, so do not worry about that. Down here, three quarters. What do we do to 4? Our denominator gets 20, we times by 5. So whatever we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator. 3 times 5 is 15. So add the fractions we know. So we know this part here is 4 twentieths. This part here is 15 twentieths. Add them together gives us 19 twentieths. So this middle part here would be what's left over. So both left-hand shape and right-hand shape have 19 twentieths shaded, so the middle shape must have 1 twentieth shaded in. 20 of 20, because that's equal to one whole. Take away 19 20 that's what we know, equals 1 20 which is the middle part. So that is doing one together, okay? So go through and make sure you understand that. Next slides, 1, 2, 3, 4, I think there's 5, 6, and your answers are there as well. So please do mark here. Same uh, process as what we've just done, this one, just different numbers. Next one's a little bit trickier because it crosses over. We just want to know this middle section, so you need to work out what that bit is, what that bit is. 
Okay, so have a little go of that. If you are stuck, click on this YouTube button up here. This will take you to, it's not me, so you'll be very happy. You need to go Control and um, then left click. Oh, I can't do that whilst holding the camera. But if you, let's try this way. Control. Oh, sorry. Control and click. And it should bring up a YouTube video that explains how one to... Problem solving fans to another problem of the day. And this one's all about three identical rectangles. Part of each shape has been shaded. And we've got to figure out... What and there is somebody else explaining how to do it. So you've got lots and lots and lots to be getting on with today. Um, what we do ask is just to really work through an hour. So if you are gonna do Are You Nuts and you've taken, I don't know, half an hour working out um, what hot and spicy is, then 20 minutes try and work out what mega hot is. And we are only expecting about 10 minutes on Are You Nuts, but do give it a go. There's plenty on here. Some are a little bit easier than others, um, but have a good go. So that is your maths for today. Keep working hard. We're really impressed with the maths that you are doing so far. Don't forget to show your answers and mark your work. Thank you. Have fun, everybody.